FSR 3 doesn't look particularly great in Oblivion Remastered, but if you have the Steam version of the game and an RX 9000 GPU, you can just go to the AMD software and toggle on FSR 4 to get really good image quality. If you have the Game Pass PC version though, you're out of luck because the AMD software won't recognize the game to allow you to enable FSR 4. In this video, I'll show you how to get FSR 4 running on the Game Pass version of the game through OptiScaler. If you've installed OptiScaler before, it's very similar, although there is one step that's a bit different. So let's not waste any time and get straight to it. White window flash warning, by the way. First, we're gonna have to download OptiScaler. So go on Google, type in OptiScaler, hit search, and it should be the very first result, the GitHub page for OptiScaler. Click on it. And then go to where it says releases, click on it, and then scroll down and download the latest zip file. That should go to your downloads folder. Next, we're gonna have to go to the install directory of our Game Pass game. So open up Game Pass, right click on Elder Scrolls, click on manage, click on files, then click on browse. Then click on Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remasters folder, open that up, and then click on the content folder and open that up and put this window off to the side a little bit. We're gonna have to grab one additional file. You'll want to click and open up your Windows install drive. It's usually C and then open up the Windows folder and then scroll down and open up the System32 folder. And on the upper right corner of this window, you'll see a search field. There you're gonna begin to type and look up for a file called AMD XCFFX64. Once the file pops up, we're gonna just right click on it and then copy. Don't delete it, just copy it. Now we're gonna go to the install directory of Oblivion Remastered and we're gonna paste this file there. So click anywhere in that window and click on paste. And now that file is in the install directory. Now go to the downloads folder where you downloaded OptiScaler, open it up and then grab all the files that are in the zip and drag them over to the Oblivion Remastered install folder that we have opened up already. I already installed it previously. So we're just gonna hit replace files. But if you do get such a message, just hit replace files. Next, you're gonna run the OptiScaler setup file .bat. It might not say .bat if you don't have extensions showing. And then you'll get a warning window because the file's not signed by Microsoft. Click on more info or just run. And then you'll get the install window. Here, you're gonna press Y because we do want to install it into this folder and enter. And this is where this step is a little different from the usual OptiScaler install. So the Game Pass Windows Store version of the game uses number two. Normally we use number one, but here we're gonna use number two. So press two, they use the winmn.dll. Uh, uh, and then it's gonna ask if you're using NVIDIA GPU or AMD. One for AMD, and press enter. And then it's gonna ask if you wanna use the DLSS inputs. I pressed one here for yes and enter, although I couldn't get DLSS to show up in the game, but still it doesn't matter. And then just press any key and it should be installed. So let's launch the game and see if it works. All right, so we're now in the game here and uh, I'm running it at 4K resolution, high graphical preset, hardware lumen on ultra with FSR performance. And we don't have the FSR 4 running just yet. This is FSR 3. Just to show you guys, you get the usual, you know, flickering and some uh, smearing. And you, I mean, you know the drill, the FSR uh, 3 uh, stuff that <laughs> you're uh, quite familiar with, some ghosting and all of that. So to enable FSR4 now, we're gonna have to bring up the OptiScaler menu, which you have to press insert on your keyboard to bring that up. Now I've had people ask me if they can remap the insert key. I don't know if you can, I'm sure you probably can, but I've never had to look it up. So if you don't have insert on your keyboard, I'm not really sure. Uh, there has to be a way where you can remap the key, but let's go ahead and press the insert key to bring up the menu. It should look something like this, and you're gonna to wanna to go on the top left corner where it says XCSS, click on the drop down menu and select FSR 3.X, hit apply, 
And it already said FSR 4 for me, but if it says FSR 3 on the drop down menu here, click on it and set it to 4 and then click on change scalar. Okay, and there you go, FSR 4 is engaged. The grass looks sharper, there's no flicker, it, it looks noticeably better. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate we have to jump through these hoops, even though you're paying for Game Pass, Oblivion Remaster is supported through AMD's own website, they say that it is, but the AMD software doesn't recognize Game Pass games for whatever reason. This is frustrating, they need to fix this. For example, on the Nvidia app, all my Game Pass games are recognized. I'm using the Transformer model on Oblivion Remastered and Expedition 33 and many other games, right? So I hope AMD can work with Microsoft. This has been an ongoing issue and it's just unfortunate because FSR 4 is a big improvement over FSR 3, especially in this game. So yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do appreciate you guys watching and giving me the feedback. Uh, it means a lot. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.